So hello guys, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video, I am going to teach you the concept of decision element in Salesforce flow. So without any delay, let's get started. So let me just click on new flow and for the scenario of this video, I am going to take screen flow as a example, right? So let's click on screen flow and click create. So first of all, I'm going to teach you uh, the concept of decision element, right? And for that, I need to use get record element in order to fetch all the related contacts of a particular account, right? So just assume that I'm going to place this flow on an account record detail page and I'm going to select get record element. Let's say related contacts and object as contact. Now, if we want to select related contacts or if we want to fetch related contact, what we need to do is we need to add account ID. And as we are uh, going to place this flow on our account record detail page, so we also need to create a variable and it's a record variable, right? So let's say ACC record data type as record. And then you need to provide the object, which is account and select available for input and click done. So now you can see it says the data type of the resource you entered is not compatible. That is true. Account ID is text and ACC record is a account uh, record variable, right? So we need to add dot to assess the ID field and type ID over there. After this, I need to select all records because I want to fetch all the record, all the related contacts of that particular account, right? And then click done. So this is the pretty simple uh, configuration which I did right now what I'm going to do I'm going to use a decision element and let's say I'm going to add here check for null or let's say decisions now in the outcome I'm going to add not null not null means when the get record element is not null or the account should have some uh, contacts or account related contacts should not be empty. That means uh, account should at least have one contact. Now here I am going to add related contact is null boolean false. So this is our first outcome right and in order to explain you the decision element I need to add one more outcome that is industry is banking so here I need to select ACC record dot industry select industry equals banking right so now you can see I have three outcomes basically not null industry is banking and the default outcome default outcome is by default it will come automatically right so now before uh, moving forward let me just start explaining you the decision element when we use decision element and what is a decision element so decision element is just to uh, separate the paths of in a particular flow let's say you want to run your flow only when when the account industry is banking what you then what you will do you will add a decision element over there add a outcome where industry equals banking right so that your flow should only work when the industry is banking or that's where the decision element is used right but the concept of decision element it's quite tricky or i can say it's generally people don't know about it what i'm going to talk uh, in this video right so please stay with full of your attention so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on done here because as you can see i have three outcomes and the first is not null that means account should have uh, some contacts uh, so that this uh, outcome is executed in uh, if you want to execute the second outcome that is industries banking that means account industry field should be banking and the third one is default outcome if the other two is not executed the default outcome will be executed automatically so now i am going to add a screen just to show you how it will work so i'm going to drag and drop a uh, text element or text component onto the screen canvas and type here uh, let's say related contacts just to let you know what it is right 
so let's say I will add a zero here and let's say screen one now after this click done I'm going to copy this screen and add into the second path or second outcome you can say paste one element and I'm going to change the properties let's say screen 2 and also this is like industry is banking let's click on done so now you will see we have screen 1 and screen 2 right and let me just click on save let's say demo and hit save okay I need to change the name because it already exists demo decision element hit save and now the thing is we have three outcomes right not null industries banking and default outcome let me just uh, show you one by one I am going to hit debug so let's say I am going to select edge communication here because edge communication has two related contacts and hit run so here you can see the related contacts screen is executed right so as you can see the related contact screen is visible right because this account contained two related contacts so now let's say I am going to run where the industry is not even banking or account doesn't have any related contact I am going to click on debug and show you Amul Parlor Limited neither the industry is banking and Amul Parlor Limited doesn't have any related contact so I will run the flow so you can see the default outcome is executed and if you check the decisions not null doesn't met industries banking doesn't met right and default outcome is executed means when the any of the outcome is not executed it will automatically execute the default outcome now the other thing which we have right if I move back and debug this again Let's say I am going to add the industry of the Amul Parlor Limited as banking. Let's me, let me go to the detail section then to the industry field. So here you can see industry is food and beverage for now. I am going to change it to banking. And hit save. So let's say I am going to select here Amul Parlor Limited and hit run. Now this time you will see industry is banking selected it's the second outcome right if you check the debug logs as well not null were not met and industry bank industry is banking outcome condition is mapped and so that's why we are able to see the second screen now the concept which i want to teach you the outcomes are executed in order so first it will check for related contacts then it will check for industries banking right and the third one is the default outcome in our case so for example i i will add one related contact to this uh, particular account let's say test and let me just hit on save tell me what outcome it will execute so as I told you that the outcomes are executed in order right so the related contact outcome is executed because this account have at least one contact now so if I move back to the flow and click on debug and this time if I if I will select the Amul Parlor Limited right and hit run you can see related contact screen is visible and the reason is simple because I told you the flow run in particular order and in our flow related contact order is first and the industries banking order is second although the record matching both the conditions but the thing is if the outcome is executed then it will not check for the other outcomes or what I will say let's say we have a five outcomes and the three outcomes are executed already and fourth and they are not met now the fourth outcome is executed so it will not check for the fifth outcome 
और वन मोर एग्जाम्पल लेट से वी हैव फाइव आउटकम्स फर्स्ट आउटकम इज एग्जीक्यूटेड इट सेल्फ देन इट विल नॉट चेक फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ फोर इट विल ओनली एंड द फ्लो और एंड द डिसीजन एलिमेंट टू द टॉप और द फर्स्ट आउटकम सेम इफ इट इज द थर्ड आउटकम इज एग्जीक्यूटेड इट विल चेक फॉर वन और टू एंड देन फॉर थ्री इट देन इट विल नॉट चेक फॉर फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ इट विल स्टॉप वेन द आउटकम इज एग्जीक्यूट एंड इफ नथिंग एग्जीक्यूटेड इट विल एग्जीक्यूट द डिफॉल्ट वन सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू राइट सो लेट से इफ आई चेंज द ऑर्डर हेयर टू इंडस्ट्री इज बैंकिंग एज अब टू नॉट नल एंड क्लिक ऑन डन नाउ टू द सेम रिकॉर्ड आई विल शो यू This time industry is banking screen is visible to us and hit debug. So let's see if I select account as a Mool Parlor Limited and hit run. So you can see industry is banking screen is visible now and into the debug logs you will also see industry is banking is executed then it will not check the other two outcomes that we have. so i hope the concept is quite clear to you and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos i will keep creating such videos in future thank you so much